Hey, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rucha HaKodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the house of David, which is the elect. And um, as you see on the screen, um, <laughs> Keisha, you know, crying for the fact that uh, her beloved savior, Kamala Harris didn't win the election, right? And um, you know this is a uh, has been a um, common theme, um, you know, today, which is the day after the election, which uh, Trump, right, uh, won. So you know we'll see what happens from now until uh, he is uh, what they called inaugurated into office. But nonetheless, um, you know, us that have this. Uh, truth in our faith in Yahweh Bashim our Shai, you know, if we're not swayed, we're not disenchanted, we're not, you know, uh, feeling any type of sorrow or sadness, okay, because, you know, we've already separated ourselves spiritually from uh, Babylon the Great, okay, and, and the reason why you're seeing um, videos, pictures of uh, Jake, right, and you actually also have um, other nations as well that are moping and crying and sad but ultimately when when you see israel doing this this is what gets the lord um infuriated right this is what gets kindles the wrath of yahweh bashim al rashai because the lord right uh explicitly told israel to not put any you know confidence and trust and uh in men okay and especially especially okay um men of, of of another nation or women, you know, of another nation and especially in, in a woman period. Okay, because the Lord didn't set up women to lead. He didn't set up women to, you know, uh, uh usurp authority over a man. Okay, but here in Babylon a great, right? A, a great confusion uh a place, right? You have that that um ideology that that can take place, that a woman could be you know, the, the head of a state, right? The commander in chief, et cetera, et cetera. But nonetheless, um, you know, you have a lot of imagery, you know, from this one uh, slide picture, right? Where you got, uh, you know, so-called black women, Israelite women that are uh, weeping and, and, and crying and moping and sad because Kamala didn't win. All right, you got the you got the Edomite woman hugging the so called black woman, and and honestly, you know we laugh at this because as being a uh, you know person that is awoke, all right, and not woke as what the Democrats right uh, try to say, you know they took that that uh, uh, verbiage, you know, awaken, right, and, and twisted it to their own perverse um, use, but being awakened. In the spirit, um, you know, it, it, we're laughing at, at at this, okay? As the Lord Scripture says, you know, we shall uh, laugh at your calamity. And this, you're not even, even, you know, nothing even happened yet, right, for you to be crying over this. And that's why if you're crying over this now, if Keisha, you know, if Monique, right, if uh, uh, she looked like a Tanya, <laughs> right, if you're crying over this now, you know, what you're going to do? When when Jacob's trouble really take place, right? What you want to do when all hell really break, breaks loose, okay? And this is what we have been warning about, right? This is why we, you know, are adamant about uh, detaching yourself from this world, from this age, especially here in Babylon the Great, and repenting and turning back unto Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, while you have the opportunity to. Okay, because see what the Lord is doing is he, he is going to force you to seek him. Actually, let me pull that up. Right. He's going to force you to um, uh, seek him early. Right. I believe that's in the book of uh, Habakkuk, not Habakkuk, Hosea. Um, it's either five. Yep. Hosea chapter five, verse 15, it says. And I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. See, you have offended your power. You have offended your God. 
All right. And that's something that you're not, you know, our people don't consider because they have uh, uh, um, trusted in the shadow of Egypt for so long. They have had confidence in the uh, power of Pharaoh that they don't even think about the uh, uh, offense that they have done, you know, to their power, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shad. So that's why the scripture says, said, till they acknowledge their offense. What is, what is the word offense? They're guilty, they're trespassed, they're wrongdoings, right? And you have greatly sinned in the eyes of the Lord, but yet the Lord still has mercy, right? But that 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 time of mercy is closing. All right. And, and you know, you know, through the spirit, we believe that the Lord has put Trump right back in 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 that seat. All right. Ultimately, to uh, bring the wrath of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai upon you uh, uh, Israelites. OK, you Babylonian loving Israelites. See, the, the this country was never meant. For you or for your uh, peace, right? It wasn't never meant for your prosperity. It was never meant for you to uh, live and dream, you know, and try to fulfill your dreams here. As it says in the book of Micah, right? Arise ye and depart for this is not your rest. Okay, so let's get, it says, so they acknowledge their offense and seek my face and their affliction. They shall seek me early. So the Lord is going to force you to seek him right by affliction because that's the thing with jake right because you've seen a lot of posts on social media a lot of videos because you know the so-called a black and hispanic right woman you know love to go on social media and and pour out their their feelings but you're seeing a lot of them talking about oh you know we just gotta protect our peace you know we're just protect our peace. <laughs> but the scripture tells you, the Lord said that there is no peace unto the wicked. And for the fact that you uh, are feeling this emotional, right? You're feeling in, in this, you're this emotional because your spirit is tied to this place. You are entangled, right? With the affairs of this world. Okay. You are, are ensnared by Babylon the Great. You are drunk off of the wine. So when things happen that you don't anticipate or you don't desire, you don't expect, right? Such as your candidate not being elected president, you your spirit weeps, right? You're, this is, this. you would think that they just, somebody just died, right? The way that she's looking. You would think that Right, that there was just some horrific uh, accident that just happened. <laughs> oh, that's a that's a Kamala's husband, <laughs> right? But you would think that that something horrific just took place the way that they're over here consoling each other. So that's why I said, if you if if you crying over this, let me get this real quick. Right. If you can't take the, the, the pains of Kamala Harris not being elected president, then what you going to do when when Jacob's trouble hit? What you going to do when what you going to do when they come for you? Right. Yeah. What you going to do when the Lord sends all right, his sword, right, Esau, Edom on you un, un, unchained. OK, because even right now, the Lord still got Esau, you know, uh, holding back. But. We're still getting closer and closer to the end of Esau's age, uh, uh, age, his rulership, no matter who's in ruler. And that's another. See, that's how the Lord does that. You know, the Lord is the, the ultimate chess master because here you got, you know, the, the Jake crying over the fact that Kamala didn't get in. And now they feel afraid. They feel like they got to, you know, uh, uh, you know, I seen one video chick said that she 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 going to wake up. Uh, a slave, you know, just a complete stupidity. But, you know, that's the <clears throat> mindset that Jake is in. And then on the other hand, you got Esau emboldened, right? Esau happy. Esau think that, you know, uh, their kingdom just got re uh, rejuvenated. And the Lord got both, got, got Esau on the trick bag because as it says in Lamentation, 
right? Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, thou that dwellest in the land of Uz, right? The cup also is going to pass unto thee. But I wanted to get this here in Jeremiah 12, verse 5. It says, if thou hast run with the footmen and they have wearied thee, then how canst thou contend with horses? See, it says, and if in the land of peace, wherein thou trustest, they weary thee, then how wilt thou do in the swelling of Jordan? All right, meaning what? That if you got tired, if you got dis, you know, saddened and, and heartbroken, right, and, and, and full of fear, feeling like, you know, your back is against the wall and complete despair, simply off of the fact that Kamala Harris did not win the election, that's you running with footmen. So what are you going to do, right? How can you contend with horses? Meaning when things get even harder, what are you going to do? How are you going to react? How are you going to respond, right? <laughs> you ain't going to be able to have makeup, you know, tears rolling down your, your makeup face because you ain't going to be able to put makeup on, okay? You're not going to be able to just be sitting there looking Right. Uh, uh, and getting to learn, having somebody take a picture of you while you're showing your sad emotions, because ain't nobody going to be taking pictures in that day. Right. When all when, when you're not be able to be sitting here, just hey, listen to somebody speak and and being overfilled emotionally. Not. Nah. All right. The scripture tells you that what that you're you're going to have a, a shame man. you're, you're going to have complete. Uh, what is it? Arise, uh, ye careless women. Okay, putting on sackcloth. The ventures is going to fail. But once again, this is the product, right? This, these faces, these tears, is the product of Israel choosing their oppressor, trusting in oppression, where the scripture tells you not to do. Matter of fact, let's get that in Isaiah thirty. Isaiah chapter 30, verse um, 11, it says, uh, Salaki 12, it says, Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise this word and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon. See, you despise the word of Yahweh Bashim Shai, because if you didn't, then you wouldn't be in, in this predicament. You wouldn't be feeling like this. Nobody that trusts fully, right, in Yahweh Bashim Al Shai gives two uh, uh, shits, excuse my French, about what just took place yesterday according to the election. Because at the end of the day, the council, right, the plan of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai will stand, right? All spirits are in his hand. It don't matter if it was Kamala or if it was Trump. Matter of fact, it. it for us, I mean, like I said, the, the Lord's uh, 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 plan will be carried out regardless. But as we speak as men, you know, for us, it seems as though Trump would be more likely to push the uh, prophecies forward. All right, because he is, as we, as we said, as he said, he's about to come down, you know, with that mass deportation. OK, against you, uh, what he called illegal migrants, which that that's right there showing you the north you northern tribe israelites because the lord you still are israel right you still are israelites whether you want to how much you want to assimilate how much you want to disassociate with the the uh, southern kingdom how much you want to try to uh uh emulate being an edomite hey, you are the lord's chosen people still the scripture tells you that ephraim uh uh you know uh uh is a kick not turn right and it also says Edom, uh, e, uh, Ephraim is joining us to idols, right? But at the end of the day, you, hey, you northern tribe, like so-called Latinos and Native Americans, you still are a part of the Lord's chosen people. And therefore, you will not go unpunished as well. So that 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 is Jacob's trouble, okay? And once again, you have uh, uh, a lot of these southern uh, tribe Israelites, right, so-called blacks, um, black Americans, right, uh, Benjamites, uh, which are the West Indians and the Haitians, they also now feeling like, oh, they just got 
put back 